May 17th, His Ascension and Our Union And it came to pass, while he blessed them, he was parted from them and carried up into heaven. Luke 24, verse 51 We have no corresponding experience to the events in our Lord's life after the transfiguration. From then onwards, our Lord's life was altogether vicarious. Up to the time of the transfiguration, he had exhibited the perfect, normal life of a man. From the transfiguration onwards, Gethsemane, the cross, the resurrection, everything is unfamiliar to us. His cross is the door by which every member of the human race can enter into the life of God. By his resurrection, he has the right to give eternal life to any man. And by his ascension, our Lord enters heaven and keeps the door open for humanity. On the Mount of Ascension, the transfiguration is completed. If Jesus had gone to heaven from the Mount of Transfiguration, he would have gone alone. He would have been nothing more to us than a glorious figure, but he turned his back on the glory and came down from the mount to identify himself with fallen humanity. The ascension is the consumption of the transfiguration. Our Lord does now go back into his primal glory, but he does not go back simply as son of God. He goes back to God as son of man as well as son of God. There is now freedom of access for anyone straight to the very throne of God by the ascension of that son of man. As Son of Man, Jesus Christ deliberately limited omnipotence, omnipresence, and omniscience in Himself. Now they are His in absolute full power. As Son of Man, Jesus Christ has all power at the throne of God. He is King of kings and Lord of lords from the day of His ascension until now.